All right. I just heard the um, Young Money Cypher 2015 exclusive. All right. You had Lil Twist, Hood, Euro, Flow, Corey Guns, Gutter Gutter, Lil Wayne. Let's get it out of the way. Corey Guns killed it. He had the best little freestyle shit popping. Um, Lil Twist started off, you dig? It was cool. His little flow, his attitude now, you know, as far as being more aggressive and not really on that kitty shit. Um, his bars was like clever. Talked about the little TMZ shit. You know, they stayed pitting that nigga and throwing him under the bus, you know what I'm saying? When he went to jail and all that little shit, got arrested and all that shit. Um, but it was cool, like, you know what I mean? It wasn't bad, it just was over like that. Uh, Hood was next. Euro, he kind of surprised me because I thought he would have been better than that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, that's it? You know what I mean? The July mixtape was fucking dope, but it's like, now I listen to that shit, and I'm like, whoa. It was alright, you know what I mean? Uh, next up was Flo. Of course, he took shots at Young Thug. Uh, I like his bars and his energy, you know what I mean? His metaphors was cool as shit. Um, even his mixtape is pretty dope. He put out a mixtape not too long ago. I had like 20 some joints. He dope, you know what I mean? I see the potential in why Wayne signed him and shit. Um, next it was Corey Guns. Bruh, did y'all see Lil Wayne face? You can't fake shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's a, it's a freestyle, it's a cypher, so you know what I mean? Niggas just rapping and shit. And it's like, I was kind of even like, the way the video, you know, it came, I didn't know really who was there, I wasn't really looking, but then, you know, Gutter Gutter, I mean, not Gutter Gutter, but Corey Gunn started rapping, and you just see the camera just go to Wayne Wayne, just like, like, he can't believe this shit, like, I mean, I, it, like, he wasn't expecting that, you can't fake no shit like that, and then Wayne had to stop that, like, he was like, no, no, that's it, that's it, that's it, like, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, this nigga went in, like, he, he had the, the longest verse, you know what I'm saying, like, that nigga, had a lot of shit to get off his chest, you know, his bars was crazy, content still there, his metaphors was in fucking incredible, like, he always dope, so it's like, I don't never, when I hear Corey Guns, I know it's not gonna be whack, like, he's just incredible, then you had Gutta Gutta, which a lot of people don't like him, I don't know why, but he's improved from the beginning of his career, back with the, you know, the Young Money, um, mixtapes with him, Gutta Gutta, Wayne, like, the squad up shit, you know what I mean, he definitely improved, so I, I like the content, He's still raw to me, you know what I mean? Then we get to Lil Wayne. He just had fun. But I will say this. The second to last beat had potential, and the last beat Wayne spit on, that's the Wayne we know and love. Like, you know what I'm saying? So imagine if he would not put out a mixtape and use those last two beats. He would have, we seen what he did with the no ceiling shit. We seen what he did with the drought three shit. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, we, we know that if he really wanted to take it serious, he did. It would have been over with. But I enjoyed the little Cypher shit. You know, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't uh, listen to it when I first heard it. Heard about it, rather. You know, I just wanted to see what it was. You know, people talked about it. And they said what they said. You know what I mean? Then a couple of videos of it. It just, because of the sampling, copyright shit. You just had Wayne, little verse, or a little part of it. And then I was like, fuck that. I want to see the whole shit. Because I'm going to do a, you know, review about it if... I ain't hear the whole shit. It was cool. That was like in a little skate joint. You know what I mean? Wayne skateboarding and shit. You know what I mean? They got them all, you know, there. So that shit was pretty dope. Um, yeah. So I definitely feel like Wayne got squad. Like, as far as his brand, Young Money shit. You know, of course he did. You, I mean, you could take it as a Birdman disc. But if you remember back in his early days with his um, albums, he used to say, like, fuck my dad. Like, his real dad that birthed him. Because he, you know, got his mom pregnant and basically dipped. But... You could take it for that or you could take it for the Birdman disc. You know what I'm saying? It go either way, so he did. But at the end of the day, most people going to say, he's talking about um, Birdman. But he could be, but, you know, he always made it notion to, to talk about his actual dad that wasn't really there. Not Rabbit, you know what I mean? That was the Step Pops, the dad that birthed him. So at the end of the day, it was a cool cypher. It gets people talking about the whole Young Money shit. I, um, you see two people are not there. Three people. Tiger, Drake, Nick. So it's like, damn, you know what I mean? But I still feel like he got enough people there that if he want to branch off and do his thing. And Jay Mills wasn't there. Chanel wasn't there. Um, Chanel West Coast wasn't there. Yeah, that's kind of 
it is what it is. So who knows? You know what I mean? But other than that, I mean, we just got to see what Young Money going to do. So I thought it was dope. You know what I mean? It was what it was. You like the people you like. You know, most people watch it because of Wayne. But I fuck with it. It was cool. You know what I mean? Entertaining and shit. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. I just had to put my two cents on it. Oh, everybody that just liked the Kendrick video I did, thank you for the views, though. But I'm honest. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that shows support. And I'm not the only one that feel that way. Shout out to Topaz. You know, he do reviews as well. He said the same shit. Like, a lot of people are saying the same shit about the Kendrick song. But y'all dick riders, keep going ahead and be a dick rider. It is what it is. When the album come out and it's not what you expect, but you're going to hype it up anyway, don't say I didn't say so. Being different is cool, but at the same time, going too fucking left, it's like Kanye with 808s, Lupe with lasers. Kanye with, I mean, Lil Wayne with Rebirth. Come on, man. And it's his sophomore album. Get out of here with that shit. I'm out, man.